Welcome back to the channel. I really hope you're all having a fantastic day because I'm having a good day. And today we're going to do something I like to call the early like free to play reviews. A casual gamer just having a little review of a game that is say free to play. It's on console. I'm playing on Xbox One X, but of course it is available on PC. So it will look its best on PC. This is a game called Warface. Basically, I would call it a casual. Don't get it. The way I describe it, casual Call of Duty, which you don't have to pay any money into, and of course, free to play means does it does have microtransactions. I will be talking about whether they're egregious or if they're predatory or anything like that. But I want to say right from the get go, the first kind of review I'm going to be doing on this game, you know, a free to play game. This is going to be a little positive one because I've played a lot of hours on this. I've played maybe four or five hours now. I just want to point out one thing right from the get go, guys. If you do decide to get it after, of course, you watch the gameplay. As simple as changing your gun. This is clearly a PC interface, right? It's always, it's clearly not, it's been kind of ported over to console. It does feel that way. See if you ever did want to change your gun. Like, I know that seems like a bit basic and noobish to say. It's an inventory, okay? It's not as simple as going, like, you can't do it in game and you change class like that. And of course, I know I haven't unlocked Medic and Engineer, so I know the big diehard Warf Warface fans will be saying, I need to do that before I can really. But this is, a say, first impression, free game. I'm really enjoying it, but let's get into it. I'll show you what the different game modes are. There's Battle Royale, which I can comment. It's really, really fun when you get in a game. The only thing is, I tried to stream it the other day, and you're waiting like 5 to 10 minutes every time in between games, and it's a bit, that's too long of a wait for me. I would really need to be instant. It needs to be like Fortnite. It needs to be like Apex Legends for me. Both free games, and by all means, if you're hit there for the Battle Royale scene, do one of them two games, okay, instead of this, i got to be honest. But this game, I would say, this game appeals to those who... Maybe you don't want to spend the real money on Call of Duty this year. This will kind of keep you satisfied to a degree. Now, I'll do Domination, I think, because I do like Domination. As simple as that, you jump right in, should be perfectly fine. You get chucked into this game mode here where you're searching for a game and you can just practice shooting and stuff. Look to. Now, one thing I want to point out, if you're playing on console, like I'm doing, click left on the D-pad and you can change your gun, like it's got a lot of customization and of course I understand that maybe you get these from buying or upgrading I just noticed that you can either have it without a scope and it's literally Call of Duty controls, Call of Duty controls if you play COD, you play Battlefield, you know the guys controls guys, but it's good and I just wanted to stress it now, but I'll get right into a game and show you the gameplay me and you will have some fun, I really like the time to kill in this game, the fact is it's free there is an item store, from my knowledge and from looking at it, and we will look at it at the very end it looks like it is just Cosmetic, which I'm perfectly fine with. As I say, I don't dabble with that, so I don't need to worry about dabbling that. But then again, if I put 100,000 hours into this, I might still want to go, wow, I probably should give a little kickback to these guys, because they've made a good game. But I'll see you guys in the actual game in a second, alright? Alright, we're in a game, guys. As I say, we're doing call on an airstrike. This has maybe not been domination. I think the game asked me if I just wanted to get in all game modes to try and find a game, which just shows, because I'm playing early morning UK time, so maybe there isn't many people playing. But another way to describe this game for me would be... What oh, people, there's a guy there. There's a guy there, we'll get him in a second, watch this. We Hang on. There's another guy there, chat. I see him. I saw him running through there. Oh, he ran past me. Ran past me. Fair enough. The way I would describe it is casual Call of Duty, call of, charge, casual call of Duty game modes. But I would say it's got time to kill of like Rainbow Six. Maybe a little bit more than Rainbow Six Siege. It's got good customization. It's a free-to-play game, guys. Like, both those games I'm comparing it to... Well, and you do, sometimes when you get killed with a sniper, if they're using like a suppress on it, you don't hear the shot. So don't get freaked out if you think the game's giving you a, a, an L for that. It happens. And yeah, I'm not going to play nearly as well as I usually do. Like, how the fuck did he hit me there? Chat, seriously. I don't mean to swear in a room, but come on. This guy's going to dick me here as well. He's kind of, right, I'm going to go. Alright, we got him, chat. Revenge. Revenge was ours and it was sweet. <laughs> See, you can get you get you get better, man. Like I was so I actually I, I, Call of Duty seems to have helped me get better at this game. But this is fun, man. Just have fun. I don't know what exactly what's happening with the points and stuff. I do believe we're getting beat because yeah, because it's like we're losing less number of people. But it's chilling. This game is fine. It's like for a game that you just want to play any sort of casual shooter. And your mate playing with your mates is fun in this game. I play with a lot of followers on Mixer. You can check me out on Mixer. Look at that dude there. Jesus, fuck me. That actually a kill streak there. What? How did I die to that, guys? What? Was that a real kill streak? I say I'm learning this stuff right now. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this, this aspect. But I've got to say, this is a good one. I'm not going to be screwing my head off saying it's a piece of trash, which I'm sure I will get to play some free to play games that I'm going to tell you guys to stay the hell away from. But this one is definitely not one of those. Like, it's so much fun. The customization on this. 
And any gun. I haven't found any underpowered guns yet. I found overpowered guns, of course, which is a bit annoying, but... Alright, guys, just relax. I don't know what I have to do here, chat. I'll call an airstrike. Do I give a shit? We captured command post. I'm hearing some footsteps, guys. Let's just go around the long way. I'm about staying alive for a bit longer now. So, if you enjoy it, this is just, just take this as the gameplay aspect of it, me reviewing it, and it's pretty fun. Like, right. that was an easy kill chat. Nobody loses their shit, alright. People are gonna spawn down here. I can tell. Again, it's the same guy, isn't it? The V two two zero. I wish it told. What one we won? We beat him. We killed each other one. <sighs> sniping, if you're really good at sniping, you go to boss this game. Like, I'm an, I'm an assault class bitch, as always. I'm an absolute assault class. He dies eventually. We got him eventually. We got him. I think I got him there. Well, he killed me one for zero. We're doing okay then. How, yeah, the, the game's balances, balancing itself out. And you can tell I've played enough because I'm actually this gold rank, which does take a while for you to get. But it's fun, man. It's absolutely fun. The game's a bit laggy, but I think that might be on my internet just now. I'm not going to lie. I'm uploading a few stuff right now. Like in terms of my videos, so don't game the, the game. I'm not blaming the game's performance for maybe some lag spikes we're getting. Ah, uh, we lost, but you know what? We jumped right in. Three and eight isn't our best kill streak. But I don't. I've never played this mode before. I usually always went with division and all that. But the main thing is, yeah, we'll jump right back into it in terms of. Actually, maybe no. I think we'll call it there for now. But I'll go talk to you about the store. Let's go have a look at the store. This is just a little first impressions. I got to stress: if you like Call of Duty, you like Rainbow Six Siege, you like shooters. You're gonna like this, and I'll see you when we get out. And look, there's all these currencies and stuff, and I'll show you what they mean in a second. I promise. They seem to drop at a good rate. I say a good rate. It's still tailored to make you spend, of course, if you wanted that perfect skin or that perfect gun. There isn't some sort of system where you can rent guns. It's like CS:GO. I'll show you when we get to it. But don't worry, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back to this part in terms of looking at all the game modes and look how many there are. Free for all. There should be something for everybody. You know, this destruction thing. It's, it's a free game. Fantastic. Another thing is, also, you do get these rewards for just logging in, which gives you some points, I guess. Like, I got a pair of gloves. That feels really good. I'll quit them around. I don't care. But, yeah, we're having a good time. What you do is you go to inventory. I believe. No, you know, you go back. Sorry, you go back and there's an item store. That's what you want. And there's a battle pass. You know, every sort of replay is following that Fortnite love, you know. Check the item staff. So you're thinking that's the item store, just those items there? No, you just go to the open item shop, which is you can't see it because my webcam is saying X. There we go, okay. So these are the top items. Now I want to point out the weapons. Now everybody, I'm gonna say on this very first video of me, if I ever decide to do Warface Warface again, because I don't want to just say this is kind of a review first impressions, let you know if it's actually worth dabbling with. Everybody I've ever spoke to who are like long like player play the game a lot. I've talked to a lot of people who were really strong because I was like I was, I was streaming on Mixer, they were jumping through and helping me out. They'd say this gun here, the gold AK-47 is the one you should be grinding your butt for. Now, look, you can spend the in-game currency in terms of the one you grind, this stuff here, the Warface dollars, to rent it for one day for 5,000. I could rent it for one day because I've got 6,600 now. Or you could do this K currency, which I believe is... You can buy them in store. Those are getting in currency, and I think I have a funny feeling that's also currency. The best co-op teams get rewarded with crowns every day. With crowns, you can buy the shops most elite games. So there's a way in which you can grind it to buy it legitly without having to spend re in real money. You know what I mean? But then you can buy it with real money in terms of that way, or you can just pay the money they give you for just generally playing the game just for one day rent. It's very CS:GO. Let's see, Mash, Call of Duty, Rainbow Six, CS:GO. CS:GO. I'd say it's more closer to Call of Duty game modes than gameplay. With Rainbow Six Siege Time to Kill, with CSGO's item shop and store items. Okay, that's the way I would describe it. But but a, it's free to play. It's not pay to. It's not pay to win. It's play to win as a way I would describe it. Because yet again, you can buy these outright, but then you can play to win. It's the same concept. I do FIFA 19. Okay, so I, I you can argue that say that's the biggest play to you know, pay to play game ever in terms of when it comes to sports games, EA microtransactions. But I put on godly hours. That's how I can stay competitive. And you, if you want this game in terms of that, you can grind it. So yeah, that's my first impressions. Sort of first one of the episodes I'm ever going to do of these kind of looking at free-to-play games. I must admit, I'm going to be chucking these in in terms of... These are going to be instead my, probably my main vids for a while just because... 
I need, as I, say, I need to build up time in terms of I'm waiting for certain games to come out. I'm buzzing. I can't wait. But main thing is drop a like, drop a comment, drop a subscribe. Tell me if you are a long-term Warface player. If I say I've grabbed every concept right there, I know I haven't got a medic or engineer. I will be doing them over the coming weeks. But this game, as I say, perfect for free to play in terms of it's everything I, I would say it needs to be. It's got enough game pick loop. It's fantastic. You don't feel too cheated when you're playing the game. It's not too overpowered certain things, even though sniping again seems a bit broken if you're really good at it. You do get cheaters in any game, let's be real. Like Fortnite is riddled with them. This is also probably riddled with them. I haven't had too much experience with that. You're not going to be waiting a while in terms of the games seem to be nice and quick. Only thing is, say, my favourite mode is Battle Royale. It's just that the time to wait in between, even when you've got when you've played the game of Battle Royale, the time it takes to load in and out, it seems to struggle, and that's probably on this the game developer servers and all that. And I'm sure if they get support, more support, they'll improve that for you. And it will be more like Fortnite, where it's quite instant, instantaneous. You're getting right in, right in. But maybe if you drop a like, drop a comment, drop a subscribe. I hope you all have a good day, guys. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Okay. Peace.